with a course or with an online program, you need tools that comes with it. That includes worksheets, videos, transcription, all of the above. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little more about my PDFs, worksheets, and checklists that I've been able to use in my courses and how you can create your own. But in this case, I'm gonna bring you back to my computer. So let's go. Video, we're gonna be talking about two different places that are completely free to create your worksheet, okay? Let me explain why I picked Canva. Everybody knows about Canva, and I actually opened up a new account so you can see you can create functional worksheet for your students. Now, before I get into the designing side and really thinking about what it is that you need to do, think about number one, make sure that it's easy to read. We've talked about this before in a previous video, your presentation slides, please don't make it hard. I know that we all love the fancy fonts and the fun scripts, but keeping it simple is gonna be very effective. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna design a worksheet and we're gonna design a very quick checklist for your student. You're gonna go into Canva and search worksheet. All of the things are gonna pop up. In my program, The Simple Course Plan, I have a few templates for you because it is overwhelming to pick. Look at all these things, way too many. I'm gonna open this one. I highly suggest to start with a template. You're like, wait, where the heck do I start? How do I even do this? This is something that's very simple. I'm actually gonna remove all of this. You want your students to not feel overwhelmed. You're not selling PDFs. You're not selling videos for your course. You are selling that end result. Keep it very simple. I like sans fonts. They're simpler to read. Too. I'm gonna come up here and change it. I do like all caps. You can use any of these buttons to really customize it. So I'm actually going to make them a little bit closer here in letter spacing. So now that that's done, now we can start typing in all of the things. I'm gonna keep the font the same. Now here on the bottom is the super cool part where you can change them all at the same time so you don't have to keep doing the thing over and over. So right here on the three dots, all caps. Let's pause really quickly and really think about why is it that you're creating a worksheet? Well, the reason why these worksheets are necessary is because not everybody is a note taker and they might not catch exactly what it is that you are trying to portray and they might not get that idea that you're trying to relay the message not for every single video that you're creating but for those that really require for them to meditate what brainstorming do they have to do and now that i have my title i have my directions customize your worksheet try to remember printer friendly so i'm going to give you two ideas I'm gonna give you an extremely printer friendly. I remember my mom would always tell me like, don't even think about using ink on my printer. So I'm like extremely traumatized when it comes to printer and color. Erase all of this. Now that's one option. Just having it simply like this. The second option for something that's printer friendly is adding like a square around it. So let me show you, you're gonna go here to elements. You're gonna create some type of like square or something like that. Okay, I found this one. This is where this goes. I'm gonna do it very light gray. Copy paste, very printer friendly. If you wanna get wild and you know, you wanna get fun, you can definitely make these back color backgrounds, your brand colors perhaps. Let me show you what your worksheets look like. You would create a worksheet to create a result. Now let's create a checklist. For example, I have a checklist that is how to go live. It may seem super simple, but the reason I created it, when you first go live for your business and you're just like literally dying, no idea how to even start, then a checklist will help you. Make sure that my phone is charged. Wipe the back of my lens have some headphones I'm gonna go in front of a light follow that same way if you're already in here you can just go to templates and press checklist I'm gonna pick this this looks pretty cool because it already has that but I'm gonna erase all of this because this is obviously not my jam copy this font I'm okay with the lines but I'm gonna move this up. That actually looks really good. I'm gonna do regular sans, not bold. How can you spruce this up a little bit? You can add a photo 
something like I said I know the printer friendly thing but sometimes you do need some type of visual you don't really need them but let's say that I want a photo here so that's a way that you can spruce up your worksheets adding a few elements let's see what it looks like when you erase all of these lines get fancy and move them it could be a demonstration for example if this is creating a worksheet checklist right here i would probably put like a photo of the computer or printer they look good they look very similar if you are going to do that pink and you want it like a little bit more spruced up you can change the color of the font whatever that font is whatever that brand color is and it looks so good <coughs> Lastly, I really liked this. I'm gonna put that title again. Let's say you want to explain something you're talking about in your course video. Change up the font. This would be kind of like a demonstration photo. I'm gonna put a little photo here. Go to upload, upload files, upload photo, pick this one. And here's a little screenshot that I took of our worksheets that we're talking about behind if you want this go to position backwards it's not the same thing as a worksheet it's more of a guide a guide of whatever it is that you're teaching and you can make it into like a morph of a worksheet where they fill in the blanks and a pdf download where it's more informational let's say that we're gonna customize that here it's like half information and half worksheet if you want more explanation you can definitely do that we went over a printer friendly way to do your worksheet we did one that's a little bit more wild in the printer zone if you want to add a little hint of color we talked a little bit about checklists and why they're important to your course and last but definitely not least is a pdf download you can add a worksheet aspect to it I kept it very simple. I love Canva for free. If you don't have the pro, it's still very doable to do your worksheet. I hope that you are enjoying this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you want to create your own worksheets with Canva, I have a 30 day pro subscription for you for free. So take a look at the link in the description below and let's get back to the content. Now let's do a worksheet with Google Docs. This is actually my favorite way to do a worksheet. It's so simple to do. Personally, my worksheets are not image heavy go to google docs blank document i'm gonna make you start this from scratch you already have an idea of how to do it with canva so we're just gonna do it here very simple let's start off with the title if you want like all caps like canva go to format text capitalization uppercase there you go Make it readable and fun color. Now we're gonna make those little fill in the blank squares. Go to insert, table, and do one square. Copy paste this while you create your next one. How simple is that? It looks legit, it looks super nice. Clean, doesn't look cluttered. You can customize the squares, another color. Click on the square, go up here click on the color that I want. Let's say that you want a demonstration. Insert image, upload, make it as small or large as you want. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Click this middle one so it could be like inside. One last thing, having a page number. Go to page numbers, pick wherever the page number is going to go. I want it in the corner, whatever. I'm probably gonna do it on the bottom. It's gonna do it for you. Let's say you have a second one. There you go. It's number two is done already for you. You can change the font. If you want to do like your course name, let's say I want the simple course plan plus the page number, it's gonna do it all for you. Super cool. This I hope that this helped. It really gave you that clarity. Whether you should do a worksheet, whether you should do a PDF or a checklist for your course because you definitely want the retention of your students. And in the next video, we're going to talk about sending emails, how to create your own emails for retention for your students.